this afternoon I'm at St. Patrick's Church in Albury. So it's quite a different scene to what my usual videos are when I'm out and about. But you would have seen videos of this church and this organ uh, on my channel before. So if I just spin you around here, um, the organ's up the back there. Um, here's the console. Let's have a quick look at the console. Flip you around. There's the console. Swell, great, and pedal. And I'll flip myself back around. There's also a, uh, a little uh, choir organ, let's call it that. I call it the box of whistles. It's uh, two ranks. And here's the disposition. Look at that. So you can get quite a bit from this little organ. It has pedals as well. And um, you can control only the, di only the diapason rank from the, the main organ here. Um, yeah, why am I here? Well, I'm teaching uh, a student, Leo. You've seen him on my channel a few times, or maybe, maybe he's on my other channel. Uh, I thought I'd give you a demo a quick demo of this organ, um, of the of the stops. So let me set you down here. So this is the Swell Gedeckt. The Swell Gedeckt 8 foot. Now with the octave coupler, Subactive as well. So it's got a lovely flute on the swell here. Now, on the swell, we also have an eight foot viola de gamba. It's a very, very delicate string stop. Octave coupler. Sub octave coupler. Now I'll, I'll close the box now. And you slowly open it. Really, really nice. Really nice um, eight foot stops on the swell. Now we have a four foot gems horn on this swell. It's kind of a hybrid string principal stop. I'll pair that together. I'll play it by itself first. Now I'll put it together with the eight foot gedeckt. Now I'll activate the swell octave coupler, which is going to give me eight and four for the gedeckt and four and two for the gems horn. So it's almost pretty much a principal chorus. Now I'll add the swell sub and swell super. So we've got, you know, 16, 8, 4, 2.
we've also got a two foot harmonica piccolo so let's try that um, two foot stop we need to find another nice hymn tune in here so we'll do eight four two principal chorus without any extensions quite a comprehensive uh, swell sound just from those four ranks. Now there's also a three rank mixture, 22, 26, 29. I don't know exactly what that composition means. Uh, pretty sure it's just fifths and octaves. That's my guess anyway. So let's hear that with uh, 842 and mixture. Here we go. Pretty shrill, it's pretty shrill, it's pretty shrill, it's a pretty bold mixture. Let's have the sub octave couple there. the sub bass and the svelte pedal just in the last little phrase there. Now there's an eight foot trumpet stop here on the swell and um, it's uh, it most likely will be out of tune. It hasn't been tuned since uh, Christmas. So we'll do a little, um, I'll do a little improvisation on the Picardy hymn tune with the trumpet. quite it is quite a bold trumpet now let's hear that with a full swell full swell and we'll just do another a uh, little bit of that hymn tune again box closed first
well makes quite a good sound. Let's check my phone here. Uh, Leo should be here any moment, so we'll try and get this done before he comes. All right, let's look at the Great Division. It has a really awesome stopped up as an eight foot. Uh, so it's the, the, bold, the bold flute sound. Now add the four foot principle. G foot 15. So that was 842 uh, with the stop diapason. Now let's hear the open diapason 8 foot on its own. Add the pedal in. Principles eight and four. Principles eight four two. Diapason is really bold and nice and smooth, just what I like. I love, I love a smooth diapason. Let's hear both the eight foot open and stop diapason. All the eights together coupled up. That's another hymn tune I do not know, so apologies if I played it wrong. And on the pedal, I'll grab you again here. On the pedal, looks like we have 16, 8, 16, 8, 5, and a third and a four foot. But in actual fact, um, it's just one rank and it's extended. So it's just one lone rank. Let's have a listen. See if I can get it in the focus here. Now let's add sixteen and eight. Now the quint here is reinforces the eight foot. So if we have the sixteen foot on its own, let's hit a G. There's your G. If we put the quint, it should play the D as well. Can you hear that? So I'll put a D. 
I should probably just stay up here. So I'll play them both together. But if I just put this on. Here we go. Full pedal without the quint, because it'll sound weird if I have the quint in there. Alright, and there's one last thing to do, and that's to play everything on Tutti, so we'll find something on there. We'll go back to our first hymn tune, and we'll do it again. And I'll probably add the Southern Supers at the end. Here we go. arrived. Here he is. Wave to the camera. There you go. 